हे गाइस वेलकम टू डेटा ट्रैक योर वन स्टॉप चैनल फॉर ऑल द डेटा साइंस एंड मशीन लर्निंग अपडेट्स इन टूडेज वीडियो विल बी लुकिंग एट वन ऑफ द उबर ईट्स ब्लॉग विच टॉक्स अबाउट हाउ दे इम्प्रूव देयर होम फीड रिकमेंडेशन बाई डी बाइसिंग सम ऑफ द कॉमन स्टेटिस्टिकल बाइसेस दैट आर प्रेजेंट इन ए रिकमेंडेशन सिस्टम उबर ईट्स इज ए फूड डिलीवरी एप विच फ्रॉम विच यू कैन ऑर्डर फूड and the home page is basically the first page of the app which is personalized to cater to your interest depending on your past history of orders and so on so it's a personalized home page recommendation of the uh, different food items depending on, on your past history uh so this blog talks about different statistical biases like the position bias feedback loop bias neighbor bias selection bias and so on but it majorly focuses on position bias and how they tackled it and one more thing i have one more video this one um in my channel where i have talked about different biases that are present in recommendation system and how to debias them uh, here also we'll talk about position bias but here Uh, Uber Eats has come up with a more advanced way of dealing with position bias, and also enough evidence that why this advanced way is a better approach and why it's needed over the traditional ways of debiasing position bias. So we'll look at the traditional ways as well as it uh, is also mentioned in the blog, but we'll look at the advanced way uh, they have come up with. So with that, let's get started. Uh, the Uber Eats Home Feed is an important tool for fulfilling the goal of personalizing the food for users. and they leverage machine learning techniques to build a personalized list of stores for each user for example if a user frequently orders sushi dishes the feed will add up by showing them more japanese restaurants especially those with highly rated sushi the personalized recommendation may also contain some suggestions similar but novel options like seafood or asian cuisines because those are similar to the sushi dishes uh, in order to achieve a high quality personalized feed a metric we prioritize is accurately estimating conversion rates which is abbreviated as cvr so to uh, have a personalized feed for the user we need to have this accurate measurement of cvr which is the conversion rate and uh, defining it more accurately cvr denotes the probability of eater ordering from a particular store after it is shown to them in the home feed so basically it's the probability of order given uh, uh, the user views it ml model trained on user interaction data uh, is used to estimate this probability however the interaction data itself does not always perfectly reflect uh, the user's preference as it suffers from a wide range of statistical biases the biases i was talking about so what they are saying is that uh, the to accurately predict the conversion probability from the interaction data we need to train a model but the data itself the interaction data itself is not perfect and it suffers from a wide range of statistical biases statistical biases impact our interaction data and can have a strong detrimental effect on the quality of ranking our model generates so basically it may have a detrimental effect in uh, estimating the conversion probability and the probability estimated may not be accurate and some of the statistical biases that exists are position bias trust bias quality of context bias selection bias neighbor bias feedback loop bias and so on uh, but this blog mostly talks about uh, the position bias but but let me quickly give you a brief about all these biases position bias basically means the items which are at the top of the feed are more uh, click just not because they are better but also because they are top in the feed the user attention decays with time and higher position items get a special preference trust bias basically means uh, user may have special towards some stores or some brands uh, if i give an example of amazon amazon has this amazon choice whenever you see that tag of amazon choice uh, you may buy that item even though some other, if that tag was not there you would have bought some other item so it would create problems in learning a fair personalized probabilities because there is a bias a trust bias towards a brand or labels and so on so it's a trust bias quality of context bias basically means the users uh, quality of browsing may differ at different contexts for example time of the day special sales event or weekday weekends mood of the users and so on so context also plays an important role in uh, deciding the cvr so how can this kind of context bias be uh, uh, debiased we can use features like time of the day day weekend and so on to uh, understand the context as well other is selection bias selection bias basically means the interaction data in which you train your model if the data on which you are training the model itself has a bias it's bias towards a particular uh, demographics or or bias towards a particular age group then it may not generalize well for all the users right so uh, data should be a good representation of overall population on which you train your model so that's a selection bias neighboring bias and feedback loop bias basically these two biases are more around that uh, the items that you let's say order today from next time your feed 
will have more and more similar items if you order sushi it might happen from next time your feed is all full of sushis so this narrows down the user feed with time and which is not good so the way to debias this kind of biases is by adding diversity having a good trade off of exploit and explore so it doesn't happen that the item that you click from next time your feed is full of those type of items or similar to those items and feedback loop bias is also that only that the data that you clicked interacted is used again for training and it can lead to similar kind of recommendation so neighboring bias and feedback loop bias can be corrected by adding diversity and having explore exploit trade off and as i was saying this paper mostly focuses on the most important bias which is the position bias and position what is position bias the user tend to order more from stores ranked higher compared to stores that are ranked lower irrespective of how relevant that uh, those stores truly are because just because they are top on the feed uh, and users attention is more in the top of the feed so they may order more from the higher position item so there is a position bias Uh, prevalent in Uber Eats home feed ranking problem space without any special treatment to our CVR model trained on bias data fails to perfectly capture user real intention since the model is not able to distinguish the impact of biases in users ordering behavior so basically if the model is trained on uh, the interaction data it learns CVR uh, which is biased with position hence it's not the true CVR true conversion probability uh next is position bias in uber eats home feed ranking more about the position bias if we can look at the data that yes this is the position bias then how can we visualize the effect of it the approach they used to visualize the position bias is the the approach to measure the impact of position bias what they do we measure the position bias using a percentage of our traffic by randomly permuting the order of stores for a significant portions of our home feed such that we can rigorously Major position bias. A small percentage of traffic does not negatively impact the overall discovery experience. So what they did, uh, they took a small set of users and for them they rank the stores randomly instead of ranking them in the order of relevance. Just uh, for them it was randomly permuted, and this won't have a uh, huge impact because it's a small percentage of users, just a small percentage of traffic. They are just randomly permuting all the recommendations. So what will happen? A good store miss uh, which. good store means in terms of relevance which previously would have appeared on the top now it can appear anywhere because of randomly uh, putting it for this small fraction of users now what should happen if we look at the conversion rate and if there was no position bias the conversion rate should be flat because good restaurant is at all the position bad restaurant is all the position so conversion rate if we plot with respect to position it should be flat so that is what they have mentioned due to this selective randomization for this small percentage of traffic the expected true store relevance is identical for the stores that are positioned in the top position of our feed so for all the positions it should be kind of equivalent rather than being ranked order by relevance right so therefore if we investigate the empirical cvr for each vertical position any deviation we observe from line parallel to x axis can be explained by the impact of pre existing biases in our data including position bias so that is what they are saying now since they have randomly permuted it the uh, cvr should be flat so it should be parallel to x axis but if they see any pattern that is because of biases and mostly majorly because of position bias so they plotted it and they saw this line which is not parallel to x axis and there is the uh, position bias where you can see uh, y axis is the cvr empirical cvr and observed cvr and uh, x axis is the position ideally it should have been uh, flat because all the catalogs are randomly permuted and not per, uh, ranked by their true relevance for this small uh, traffic so there is still a clear user preference to place orders from store at the top of the feed compared to lower ranked ones demonstrating the significant impact of position bias in user behavior and in our data our relevance ranking model may be suffering from uh, positive feedback loop where one is stored near the top of the feed gets more orders encouraging the model to learn that they are relevant which then ranks them highly in the future session naturally the opposite effect uh, is observed for stores that are low ranked so so we talked about feedback loop bias right so they are combining the two they are saying that stores which are ranked at the top because they are relevant uh, uh, will be will also get extra order because of position bias and next time in the model training also it will learn the same bias and this feedback will Uh, loop will uh, continue which will make the situation more worse 
so uh, there is an important need to, and clear headroom to improve the CVR and debias position bias. Now we will talk about debiasing to build a debiased ML model for predicting the true CVR. We must determine a way to model the relationship between true CVR, bias CVR and the position bias because what we get after doing the model is bias CVR but we want to extract out of it is true CVR and the position bias that is there. Now in the next section the blog talks about the examination model. What is examination model? Uh, we need to understand three concepts here. One is impression, examination and conversion. So impression basically means the uh, that store was sent to the user feed in their home page and it doesn't necessarily mean that if the impression if if that store was sent if that pixel if was present there the user would have seen it if user sees it then it's called examination and if user orders it's the ordering so even if the store is physically rendered in pixel that doesn't mean that user saw those pixels or inspected their content so uh, whether the user saw it or not that we don't know right the examination occurs if a user deliberately chooses to inspect the item with an intent to potentially place an order from that store that is shown to them and examination does not require a click. Examination could simply mean that user is looking at the store name, cuisine, type, image or other factors. So basically impression means uh, it's there in user's feed. Examination means user is actually uh, looking at it. User read the name or saw the image and so on in, in uh, with an intent to place the order and examination doesn't mean click and it can happen that user examines and orders also. So what can happen all the possibilities impression is there that the uh, store is present in users home feed uh, user may not examine it may it user may not see it at all and it's user doesn't see so doesn't order. Second is user examines it but and orders as well and third possibilities is examines does not order. So this is the examination model and why this is important because this will help us derive the equations and debias the position bias. And uh, why does position bias uh, exist? Because there is an attention decay. Attention decay basically refers to the user tendency to inspect top stores more carefully compared to lower ranked stores then thus gradually paying less attention to the recommendations uh, as they scroll vertically downwards. And uh, interestingly they also found that position itself is not the only factor determining the magnitude of position bias. Uh, there are other factors as well. Position bias can be influenced by secondary factors. For example, different operating system or different devices may have different user interface and layouts leading to differences in how vertical position is perceived and how it affects the position bias. So basically what they are saying that position also plays a role in that attention decay and position bias but there are other factors like the device type whether it's Apple phone, Android phone or within Android also which OS is there. So these kind of factors also play a role because they change the UI and uh, depending on the how the look and feel user may browse more less and so on. So these factors also play a crucial role in position bias. Also one more thing that plays a uh, role in position bias is store if presented as a single store or a collection of store cards as in carousal also plays an important role in how willing user are to direct their attention to each recommendation. So it also depends whether the store is shown as a single store or a carousal of stores and so on. So it also depends on how it's presented to the user uh, and so on. So basically position bias can happen because of position. It can also happen because of device type, OS type. It can also happen because how, how the UI is presented for that store, whether a single store or a set of stores, the carousal. So these are also some of the factors which affects the position bias and that is what they have shown in this figure that you can see that two different devices, device OS 1 and device OS 2, two different devices have different uh, intensity of position bias, right? Uh, the Where the orange line is suffering more and blue line is suffering less. Similarly, the feed item type, the whether it's a single carouser or how the feed is presented, that also plays a role. Two different feed types have a, having different decay in CVR with respect to position. So definitely it's decaying with position but the magnitude is different depending on OS and feed type. So these are also some other factors which uh, uh, sums up to the position bias or contributes to the position bias. Next is the equation which will uh, help them debias the uh, position bias. We would ideally like to predict the true CVR which is the ground truth probability of conversion after the store is examined. In contrast bias CVR is the empirical CVR we observed in our training data that is generated by the user impression. So basically if we just train the model on user interaction data we get a bias CVR. So bias CVR is the probability of order. Now probability of order can be broken down into probability of examination into probability of order given examination. This is a conditional probability and 
order given examination is the true cvr because once the user is examining it the user might order or not order now it becomes a pure case of true conversion but examining or not is where the position bias is because uh, as the uh, below stores will have lesser attention has lesser probability of examination similarly depending on os type device type carousal type item type the examination probability can change so basically all the position bias are there in examination probability and once user is examining it looking at it the probability of order given examination will be a true cvr so that is what they have mentioned p examination or probability of examination is how position bias manifests uh, itself in our data moving forward we will refer to this probability as position bias the p examination they will refer as position bias uh, next is uh, the methodology how they handled it and also some of the past ways and how this methodology is different from the past ways of dealing with it in order to accurately estimate true cvr we should ideally like to train our model only on the examination data right if we can only get the data where user was examining it we can train a model to get true cvr unfortunately that data is not available because we don't know which impressions will lead to an examination and which won't so somehow from this data only we need to uh, figure out the p examination probability and true cvr and then we can remove the examination probability and only true cvr we can use for ranking so uh, next is uh, some of the past work and some of this i have also covered in my other video you can look at that as well so over a years there are different ways to handle position bias uh, like randomized segment of uh, traffic used for training so basically uh, you you for a small set of traffic you just randomly permute all the stores it will have some detrimental effect in conversion because we are randomly permuting the stores for some set of users but that will have lesser position bias and training for the model can happen on that data but again the problem says uh, it will be a lesser amount of data because we are only exposing this randomly permuted uh, combination of stores to a small traffic right so that is a problem but uh, training on this randomized traffic can reduce the position bias second is inverse propensity weighing framework where you uh, weigh the data points more which are at lower in the position and if they get converted while if something get converted say, on the top position you weigh, weigh it lesser so inverse propensity weighing uh, where data points are weight, weighted appropriately during the training phase other is utilizing the vertical position directly as a feature during training as well uh, as well as other approaches also exist so one a third approach is you use the position as a feature that where it appear to predict the cvr so these are some of the ways in which you can uh, mitigate the position bias and these are some of the past techniques one is that train the model where the uh, stores were randomly permuted for a small fraction of users just use that data to train your model second is use the entire data interaction data but weigh it according to the position the high order position conversions are given layer lesser weight and lower order conversions positions are given higher weight inverse propensity weighing and the third technique is use position as a feature and somehow uh, balance it during the inference uh, uh, time so these are some of the ways in which position bias used to be handled but they have in this block come up with a advanced technique and they back it with data that position is not the only reason for position bias position bias can happen because of os device type carousal type and so on so we need to have more sophisticated approach to uh, debias the position bias so that is what they have mentioned various attempts help them steadily build valuable insights about the position bias uh, but we realize position bias is not only a function of vertical position the three techniques we saw we are all based on position so it's not just a function of vertical position but it is also influenced by additional factor like device os feed type and so on so we found that the attempt to deal with position bias should not have significant impact on the magnitude of cvr prediction as it can generate downstream issues uh, like the model calibration so uh, position bias can not just happen because of position but it can also happen because of os feedback carousal type and so on so they come up with a different approach and also this approach which they are suggesting they are saying that the magnitude of cvr shouldn't be very different otherwise it may create some problems in the downstream task like model calibration i have a video on model calibration i will add that also in the uh, description section along with the previous video on different type of biases in recommendation system so uh, so we now know that they want to come up with a sophisticated approach and what that approach is uh, we built a deep learning cvr model with a position bias side tower which allows us to simultaneously estimate true cvr and position bias under the experimentation model so this is the technique they used 
they created a deep learning model which consists of two tower the first tower will calculate the examination probability or the position bias and second one will calculate the true cvr and they are then uh, added addition of logits which is the log of odds is similar to multiplying the probability so these are added to predict the final probability so that is what they have mentioned we built a deep learning cvr model with position bias side tower which allows us to simultaneously estimate true cvr and position bias under the examination model the architecture of this model naturally follows equation one so it follows this equation the uh, left hand tower will predict the position bias which is the probability of examination and second the right hand side tower will predict the true cvr that is this tower will predict the position bias examination probability and this will predict the true cvr so the model comprises of two separate dnns uh, that is the position tower and the true cvr tower that estimate the probability of examination and true cvr the output logits of these towers are summed up before passing them through a sigmoid which in probability space is same as multiplying the probabilities uh, and we pose a ml problem as a classification task it will just become a classification task right wherever the uh, conversion happened those will go as one wherever the conversion didn't ha go uh, happen it will go as a label zero but now the model will have two towers one is the true cvr tower and other is the position tower the model is trained on the biased impression data where each row is an impression of user on a store and label is whether the impression resulted in an order or not so that is what they are saying Tra training happened in the bias data only where labels are whether the order happened or not but it will pass through this model and do once the training is complete because what we want to do in inference we want to remove the position bias so once the training is complete during the online serving uh, we rank the stores according to true CVR estimates predicted by the model which reflects user preference more accurately as they are not corrupted by the position bias. So during the inference only this tower is used, only this part of the network is used to uh, come up with the CVR which is uh, less affected by position bias, which is negligible affected by position bias. Now few more interesting thing. If these two towers share the co common features, it can happen that bias tower may learn some of the true CVR quantity related features which makes the prediction of CVR tower less accurate. To resolve this problem, we employ various regularization technique within the bias tower, like L1 regularization and dropout. And also they have mentioned that bias towers have exclusive access to the features that are more related to position bias and less with the true CVR. This configuration of features help each tower to learn information respective to their intended task and is key in successfully generating debiased true CVR prediction. So what they are saying, this part of the model will get only access to the ranking features like the cat, like the store goodness, store ra uh, ratings, uh, store con uh, general conversion rates and so on. So it will have access to the ranking features while this tower, the position uh, tower will only have access to position related features like the position or OS type, device type and carousal type and so on which which affects the uh, position bias. So uh, because of this, this tower won't uh, uh, contribute to anything which is related to CVR prediction and this tower doesn't contribute to anything which is related to position tower and the two towers can learn their task if it effectively and also they have added strong regularization like L1 regularization and dropout to this tower to ensure this doesn't learn any CVR related uh, goodness and all CVR related goodness is learned by this tower and during the inference only this part of the network is used to predict uh, the CVR which is used for ranking and which is which is less prone to position bias. So results, uh, they did both offline analysis and online analysis. In offline analysis, they found that the true CVR is less correlated with position while the bias CVR used to be more correlated with the position. So this correlation test is uh, perfect that the true CVR is less correlated with the position, with the vertical positions. And another thing in the online experimentation, they saw that uh, the new position debias model generated a more relevant home feed recommendation and uh, user statistically significantly placed more orders from home feed and had to go to search functionality less so their orders also increase for per user orders increase there was a significant increase in orders per user in our platform indicating our new model does a better job in understanding uh, you what user truly want and generates a more appetizing feed in general leading to more orders from our users uh, so it uh, resulted in uh, increase in orders per user and final conclusion in this blog we saw how uh, what position bias is and uh, using an examination model how they estimate it uh, the true CVR by training a DL model with a position bias side tower removing the effect of position bias from the bias data help the model 
to learn the true CVR estimates more accurately, generating more relevant recommendation. And also it resulted in higher user engagement and higher orders per user. And also in future, they want to tackle other type of biases also like the neighboring bias and selection bias uh, so that model can improve further. So hope you like the video. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more such updates. Bye.